so they're going straight into it. All right. Wait, so what's your name, by the way? Miles. Miles. Okay, yeah, I'm yeah, Harry. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice yeah. to meet you. So I. Uh, All right. So the did you watch the winter set of this? I watched it from outside, and okay. it was not that pretty. It, it was not at all. Okay, yeah. well, this is pretty much how it went. It okay. <laughs> it was like immediate uh, stock and then Ooh. Jake playing from behind. Pretty but much, it's pretty much every game. Hmm. But Jake just came off a win from Austin, so maybe, yeah. he, maybe he has a little more confidence right now. Yeah. I think that's also interesting. What do you? What did you notice about the last set that Jake was oh. kind of messing up on that was getting him killed a lot, or at least losing neutral? Honestly, I feel like I blinked and he just like would lose his stock instantly and then... <laughs> And then get tech chased again and die. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. I feel like Jake needs some like major adaptations because mm -hmm. it, it was just very not close. You know? Yeah. It was it was like three two stocks. So. Okay. Oh yeah. I mean he was kind of getting his punishes off when he got an opening, but. Um, Ooh, nice arms attack. Yeah. Yeah, that was sick. I feel like uh, what I'm noticing right now is that Jake is trying to play the scrap game against the. Uh, I guess international sheep, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Who's seen a lot of like and I kind of feel like Falcon doesn't want to scrap against sheep really. Absolutely not. And that was kind of what was getting him a lot of like merit or I guess mileage against Austin was he was down Austin was down to scrap with Falcon. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's that second yeah. D tilt was dirty. Oh, oh we just go for the kill, yeah. He's just styling on him now. Yeah. So it's kinda like oh, we take those though. Free stuff. Yup, taunt on him. I just feel like one thing that Jake relies on a little too heavily is sometimes CC against Sheik. Um, I noticed that in the set with Austin. He would kind of just like run up, crouch, and uh, well, I don't know about run up, but definitely just like crouch right in front of him. And like tilting. against a Sheik that is just down to just grab at those early percents yeah. and kind of just get you out of CC percent, Yeah, you just don't want to do that. Ooh, that was tricky. Oh, that was real tricky. What the world? Oh, uh, yeah. Max, Max's Sheik is just so refined. Like, his follow-ups are too good. Yeah, and it's like Max has a Q in that bag wants oh to shield gosh, grab not, at some not point. Not the reverse. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Damn. Okay, yeah. Like, spacing just outside of shield grab or doing a lot of cross-ups on block is making bag's defensive game kind of just, like, exposing it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just like, I'd like to see more wave dashes out of shield. Yeah. Nice. Good. Who do you main in melee? I play Falco. Oh, Falco. Okay. Yeah, I used to go by Gryffindork. I used to go by Noah. Um, oh, I, I, I know the tag now. Though. Yeah, I'm just Miles now. Okay. Oh, the transformation? Oh, man. Oh, single hit? This is the first lead I think Jake has had on the first stock. He needs to turn this into a stock. Yeah. There we go. Nice, nice. That should be it. Hold it. Nice. Very good. I like this a little bit better. Interesting going for the bear instead of the knee, but it works. Keep him guessing. Oh. Speaking of guessing. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, oh we take that. Good yeah. call out, good call out. Okay, this is a fat lead now. Fat lead. Something Jake has not had yet against Max. Yeah. And that was like a good, like, I guess, look into kind of how their neutral's gonna go. Max did a dash stack and Jake, like, CC'd it. I'd like to see him not just go for grab, though, and try to, like, yeah. play a better position. He's also reading the roll in with Stomp, like, a lot. Oh. Okay, there we go. He went for the roll out. Okay. Yeah. I don't agree with that tech roll out. Oh, that up there was. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you're dead. Ooh. And we take oh. those as well. Yup. 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 <laughs> That's what we're talking about. But I've seen him miss that tech a couple times tonight. Yeah. Okay, Mac takes that stock instantly though. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to scrap too much. Oh, nice, nice crouch. There we go. Good. Oh, DI's out to avoid the double. Nice. Oh, come on. Okay, he got back. <laughs> that was so close. Oh, I think he had time to wave dash back right there, but absolutely. Yeah. Nice. Oh, good, good. Yeah. 
Sheik's spot dodge can be kind of hard to react to, honestly. Oh, come on, close it funky out. Funky stuff happening. Oh, oh is it out? <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, okay. That's one more. Zelda's recovery under the ledge is like surprisingly kind of hard sometimes, especially yeah. on battlefield. Yeah, I don't know how people do it. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest. Like Sheik, I can Zelda, understand. Zelda notches. You need the Zelda notches. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'd love to see the day. <laughs> Okay. Oh, you don't miss tech on Pratt Balls. Or you can't even tech that. Too. Oh, shield drop up air was an interesting choice. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, he's, oh, oh my gosh. Wow. 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 Yeah. Keep using these jabs in these spots. Yeah, there you go. Oh, Back. nice clips. Oh, oh, man. Not holding away Th from these like. That could have been huge. Ja uh, Jake is getting a tick thrown a lot right now. Uh, he's getting hit with like forward air uh -huh. and then kind of like just holding in on the forward air and getting grabbed afterwards. Mm. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> Jake has the GF buff this week. No wonder he's popping off. Word. Nice. Oh, miss that turnaround. Max's up airs are so sick. Yeah, they're really good at just kind of like putting people in positions where even if they hold down, they still run a mix up against Sheik. Yeah. Nice. I don't agree. That was a great up air. Yeah, just get out of there. Just go. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah, held shield a little too long there. Yeah. And that's another situation where, yeah. like, wave dash out of shield would have allowed him to just, like, take center stage. So you're right, you're right. He doesn't do a lot of wave dash out of shield. He's holding or jumping a lot. Yeah, yeah. or grabbing. Yeah. I mean, he's got clipped by jumping out of shield by the ledge a couple times. Yeah. Hopefully he can make something shake this game. Yeah. Oh, that was his input. Oh, missed the grab there. Oh, still. Yeah, there was another shield hold again. Yeah. That's a little bit of the fear. Do Falcons kind of like just not wave dash out of shield that much? I feel like it's kind of a thing. I think it's pretty good because Sheik is going to try to space tilts and arrows around your shield to not get shield grabbed by you, right? Yeah. So you can kind of like bank on the fact that like what they do up close isn't gonna be close enough that if you can just sneak out right, a wave right. dash out of shield, you can kind of get away from some situations. Nice. Yeah, I agree, because Sheik's usually standing there tilting, so if you just wave dash away. And see like Max use it there to get close enough to interrupt uh, Jake's dash chance with up tilt. Oh, we just kicked the needle. Oh, yeah, there we go. Nice. Nice. 52% is not that bad, though. Yeah. Ooh. As I say that. Oh, just babysit. Yeah, Max Ooh. does not miss those platform tech chases. Yeah. And again, trying to, like, go for an opening and just get dash dance grabbed out of your invincibility. Nice. But it's like whenever Max tries to hit at like CC percent, Jig is on top with like. Oh, six shield drop. Oh, oh my, my god. god. What the French toast is happening? Oh, oh not, yeah. not the needle tilt. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah. We're just gonna have to grab that ledge. Take what you can get, brother. That's my roommate right there. All right, there we go. Raw grabs. I have not actually. I have not oh, seen. Oh wait, did, wait. You live with Jake? Yeah, I live with Jake and Chris. Oh okay. I have actually not seen a low amount of run-up grabs from Jake as well. Oh. Get out of there. Okay, that kind of working this oh. punish. Oh, that's it. That's it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Hey, well, well, GG's. GG's. <laughs> I think, like, one of the hallmarks, though, was that 
Jake was getting out of certain situations and immediately trying to run an offensive mix-up as like a reversal. Oh, yeah. And just mm -hmm. Sheik is just not trying to play that with Falcon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think what he should work on and just kind of look back at the Austin set and see what he was doing and then look at this one and the winner set to just kind of see where Max is kind of gapping him in neutral. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Yeah. What's up? Y'all be down to do a winner's interview with Max? Sure. Do you want to? Yeah, I'll I do it. Yeah. I got you. Go for it. Nice. Yeah. I mean, it was one set, but yeah, for sure, for sure. Sorry, 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 sorry. I mean, it was one set, but yeah. Hello, hello. Congrats. Whoa. Oh, don't break the head. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? So, uh, how do you feel about today? Um, uh, in whole? Shit. In general, I feel like Georgia's like pretty strong, but they're yeah. just not used to playing Sheiks with like that punish in the same way that mm. I do, almost, okay. I guess. Like, okay. I think like I play like a lot more DI mix-up heavy. Yeah, I noticed that. I also think your neutral, in terms of like scrap situ situations, especially against Falcon, was very like, I guess, very polished. Do you play a lot of Falcons in the UK? Uh, not, uh, yeah, so there's someone called Sechi, who I like, like watched like VODs of and played a decent bit before sure. he quit. Yeah. He plays Guilty Gear now and there's someone called Istar who like used to live in the UK. Mm -hmm. He like moved back to Greece, he was studying there, but he's like the best player from Greece and he was like top five in our region. Okay. And they both play like very like tech chasey, like labbed out styles of Falcon, mm -hmm. pretty similar to Bag actually. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that that's definitely like comfort matchup for me. For sure. And I guess what were you noticing about Bag's like gameplay that was allowing you to kinda like win neutral in certain situations over him? Uh, I think, like, the main thing was that, like, especially in, like, the close quarters situation, mm. he's hesitant to just run up and grab. I literally said that yeah, earlier. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, and that, that's, like, the main thing. Like, mm. so it's just I'm watching, and I'm like, okay, I know I can kind of just chill, and probably, like, I don't... I can hold shield for basically as long as I want and, sure. and, and just, like, pick a good spot. It's yeah. kind of how it feels. And, like, his punish game of grab is good. Like, he should yeah. just do it more, but, like... It, it's specific. He, he likes to play from crouch a lot. Yeah. And like, there are people that like that, but they're not fully comfortable moving out of crouch. They just kind of go there expecting you to get hit. Yeah. But like, I feel like the main part of it is you have to learn not only like to CC grab stuff, but mm -hmm. also like notice, okay, they're not gonna hit me here. I have to move out of crouch and like yeah. play. I have to play a neutral option from CC basically. Absolutely. And I also noticed that like a lot of times, like you said, where Bag was just kind of waiting on the side platform offset of like the yeah. triplats, taking the hit and trying to grab. I would have really liked to see more just like taking space or playing different options off yeah, of no, that. Yeah, he, no, he's like very clearly just like makes his call outs from like mm -hmm. kind of aerial based movements, I think. Yeah. Whereas like uh, you can like mess with Sheik's lack of dash dance by like applying pressure on the ground exactly. with like your speed a lot more. Mm -hmm. I feel like that probably would have like made it more scary. Okay, okay. And so um, my next question is kind of like out of uh, – you played at Cards Basement, yeah? Yeah. And how did you feel about that tournament? Uh, well, that's what it was tough because I lost to Moff and Panko, which is like Puff Icy, so it's Ugh. just kind of tough. It's kind of <laughs> tough. Ugh. Yeah. It's, it's tough, tough bracket. I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, tournament was probably like – my favorite in a while just okay. from like it, be, it, it just being ran like it was just like nice venue nice like venue good vibes for sure fun people were so who do you think was the i guess out of this tournament who is the hardest m person for you to play like in this bracket today? in this bracket in this bracket pro i mean it, and be it, honest be honest like even though bag took a game it, mm. it, it probably still was geo just because yeah. like i don't know if you saw the set but like mm. yeah that but that was like a game one which they could have definitely won and then like okay. the third game they basically did win. I just got a gimp at zero. Yeah. But, okay. you know, probably bag and, bag and geo. But For sure. Yeah, I, I think I was definitely favored at this one. Probably. Okay. I mean, just from seeing your chic movement, especially that, uh, like, platform movement you were doing on Pokemon Stadium 2 yeah. was pretty nasty. What kind of gives you the confidence to kind of do things like that in a set versus somebody? I don't know. Like, just play, p playing long enough. Also, I played, like, three, I played, like, three sets with bag at this point. So, sure. like... It was kind of just like the yeah, me noticing that you're you're kind of down to just wait mm -hmm. for me to like make a, I guess error on shield yeah or like error in spacing so just playing around that mm. like I don't know I I think I kind of just like put players into two camps like one I have to like be very aggressive verse and one mm. I have to like wait a little bit verse for sure and then like the best players you have to do both they're like yeah. constantly switching but usually what I just notice is people who like are like kind of on the PR in their region mm. pretty good mm. they're usually good at one or the other like okay. very very good at one or the other. So, like, I, I don't know. But then, yeah, for, for people, like, who I think are, like, 
better than me or on my skill level, you usually just have to do both. You have to do both. And I noticed that a lot of times um, Bag was just like holding shield in spots where you were just kind of moving. Yeah. And he wasn't really like wave dashing out of shield, but I did notice that I think that like he should have wave dashed out of shield more among other things because you were spacing tilts on a shield yeah. in a way that shield grab was just not an option. Yeah, no, so, so like it's like, I know Falcon's like down air and like Lord Stomp is like really threatening versus that dash dance stuff, but it's just he's specifically like, he's really good at like, knowing how to like get stomped to be where where he wants it to be but okay. owning from like aerial drift i think mm. aerial drift is a huge part of it okay but like yeah I, I didn't see like yeah like a quick wave dash out of shield then you start that up or you just like straight up stomp out of shield and mm. stuff like d just more out of shield options in general yeah. i feel like is what every falcon needs for chic to be honest <laughs> yeah absolutely because it's just it's fucking like brutal like, <laughs> it's just so hard so um i guess like my last question for this interview is uh When's the next time you're coming back to Georgia? To Georgia? Yeah. Uh, if there's like anything like residential, For then, sure. then like 100 percent, like I'd want to be at Tipped Off. Oh, absolutely. If there's like another Cards Basement, mm -hmm. I'll probably try go to that. For sure. But yeah, I, I don't know. Georgia's like probably tied with like Illinois for like my Illinois. favorite scene out here, to be honest. Word. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, it was a pleasure having you. I know we didn't get to interact with this much this week, and I work a lot, but yeah. still just being able to sit down and have this conversation about the game with you has brought me a lot of insight, yeah. so I really appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you, man. Absolutely. GG's. GG's, GG's. Um, but, yeah, that was pretty much the yeah. tournament. Hopped on for one set, you know, commentated one set. But I think, uh, Bag, if you're watching this, there's a lot of good notes that you should take from that set. I felt like uh, there were some questions that you may have gotten answered by just re-watching just the interview as a whole. It was really good stuff. Um, I think you cooked this tournament for sure, and uh, I think if you take the notes and just re-watch your sets, you'll be able to cook even harder against Sheik. So good stuff to you, man, for real, for real. Shout out to Bag. Shout out to Bag. Hello, hello, yeah, shout out to Bag. Shout out to Bag. Um, just wanted to say real quick, first of all, it's my first time seeing my brother in a while. I yeah. love you, bro. Thank I'm, you I'm back from the dead. Let's go. Um, Cue the Undertaker theme. I, th I know this is our first time being on BGBC, too. Um, just wanted – usually I just come on stream and say thank you to everybody, but I kind of want to talk about Cards Basement. For sure. Um, low key, if you didn't go to Cards Basement, which unfortunately includes Just you, don't say it. Like, don't even, don't even don't even say it. Y'all missed out, man. That, I missed out. I'm, like, trying my hardest not to just automatically rank it as my favorite tournament of all time. It seemed like because, it. Because, you know, you have recency bias, and I don't want to, like, let myself fall victim to that. Yeah. Um. But, dude, it was just so good. The vibes I, were crazy. Like, we just had some, like, first of all, a card, the main TO, mm. is just such a creative, intelligent, fucking, like, big brain ass TO. person, dude. Yeah. Like, uh, we just had some crazy ideas we want to execute. Card found an amazing venue, which worked really well. And I think we'll grow over time. They have, like, some extra spaces that are being renovated, which we hopefully have access to for the next one. Assuming, next that, one. Ha assuming that it happens. Yeah, we want it to happen. Oh, uh, I would like to be at that next one. It was uh, <laughs> it was Friday night. We were um, at Cards House doing the mock test stream for the quad stream, which looked amazing, by the way. Yeah. And we – I was, like, working, and then Card was like, yo, I, l I know we're focused right now, but next year, this, this, and that. I don't want to spoil anything. Don't but spoil this, it. This, this, and that. And I was like, yo, come on. Like, you know, yeah, we got to yeah, do it. Yeah. We got to make it happen. And then it ended up being, like, the greatest tournament of all time. Absolutely. With, like, shout-outs to my South Carolina, North Carolina, Tennessee, Alabama, Florida players who made it out. My boy Kevin Maples. I was like, you got to pull up to this. He pulled up to that. Large Marge, Douglas J. Gubb. Absolutely. Doho. Shout out to off. Hell Potato, Aaron, for helping out. Those are my boys. They flew in just for this, and they were soldiers. Like, we had to get 20-something CRTs out of my bedroom into two cars. <laughs> we got, we, you know, we made it happen. Um, thank you to everybody involved. Um, it was a great time, and y'all got to be at the next one. Absolutely. Gotta be. I'm taking time dude, off for the that The cat one. ears badges, dude. No, that was that, dude, that was a cook. Dude. Seeing the pictures was, on Twitter had gave me crazy amounts of FOMO. Dude, dude, and they just dropped the third album a couple hours ago. Yeah. Um, I didn't even I, – I knew you say – or you say the, the photographer was there, but I didn't know if he was just taking photos or he was just chilling. Yeah. Um, those photos were amazing. Shout-out to Brownington. Shout-out to shout out to you say. Uh, the, cat ba the cat ears, I was just like – you know, we have friends who just wear cat ears sometimes, and it's and it's cool and it's funny. I was like, what if we just had like a box of like 150 of them or 100 of them? Yeah. People could just get one and wear them. And then in the album, you know, somebody takes an album pictures. In the album, you see people in cat ears. That would be so cool. Mm -hmm. And then Card was like, that's a good idea. What if we did them as badges, and with like a ear tag? And I was like, yo, like we gotta, you know, I mean, we just cook. We gotta make it happen. We gotta make right it happen. Here. And it was like the greatest idea ever, dude. Yeah, what's you're up? not gonna, you're not gonna fist bump me. Fist bump me. Oh, Cheeks, nah. I show Cheeks. Mr. <laughs> I show Cheeks from South Carolina just won Redemption Bracket 3-0 over Dimer, Mike, Dimer Maker. Shout out to Dimer Redemption Maker. Redemption Bracket? 
You're what like is a, that? What is that? You're like a 12 man redemption you party the today. Redemption back 17. What does this even mean? Something like that. Yeah. Video, audio left or mono, audio right. Yo, that's sick. I'm gonna have to take that. So um, please leave immediately before <laughs> I catch you outside. Thank but you. Yeah. Uh, car <laughs> racing was awesome. Y'all gotta yeah. be there next year. Uh, come to Kame House, Kame bro. Kame House. Shout out to Kame House. Kame House sure. Weekly. Shout out to Miles. Shout out to Cheek. Shout out oh, to absolutely. Bag. Shout out to Max. UK Max. Um, thank you guys for watching. And uh, stay groovy. Please Bye -bye. come to Kame House.